If you're looking for a new pair of glasses in 2024, this is the video for you. I'm going to be showcasing 10 of the very best frame designs that have been released this year so far that are both stylish and unique from 10 amazing eyewear brands. And trust me, you've never seen anything like this before. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And if you're looking for your perfect pair of glasses, in 2024, look no further. You will be amazed by some of the frame designs that I'm gonna showcase for you today. Just wait until we get to number one. So sit back and relax, and let's look at some amazing glasses. We're going to start with the Riva by Gast. Now Gast are an independent eyewear brand like most of the frames that I'm gonna be showcasing today, but unlike most of the frames that I'm gonna be showcasing today, they are extremely affordable, probably attainable for pretty much anyone shopping for a new pair of glasses in 2024. And that is one of the cool things about Gast is that they are both stylish and affordable. They're easily good enough to wear as your everyday glasses, but if you're someone who wants to build a collection of glasses, as you should, Gast are an easy way to add an extra pair into your collection without breaking the bank. And the Reva, despite being way less than $200, is extremely cool. And you could easily mistake these for frames that cost four to $500. Particularly in this green acetate, which is a new colorway for Gast in 2024, the Reva looks excellent. I think the green really makes it stand out from the rest of the collection, although to be honest, every gas frame is stylish and cool. Like most gas frames, this is a chunky acetate, although not as chunky as many. And I really do like the gold hardware that complements the green acetate. A particular highlight for me on this frame is the beveled top rim, the kind of finishing that you only really see on top end handmade frames. And these are handmade, but in China, which is what helps to keep the cost down. The frames themselves are designed in Milan and it shows. I think Mattia Gastaldo, the founder of Gast, continues to do an amazing job. And for me, Gast represent the best affordable frames in the world right now. At number nine, and at the complete other end of the spectrum, the most expensive frame on this list is the new Santos de Cartier full rim. And this is a frame that I previewed just before Christmas when Cartier invited me to a special event showcasing some of their upcoming releases. We pre-ordered these for the store and they have just arrived into stock and they have been worth the wait. Up until now, it's always been the rimless styles that Cartier are best at, but this is a truly awesome full rim metal frame. I love the exposed screws. I mean, it's the hallmark of Santos de Cartier is that exposed screw design and the way that it contrasts against the brushed finishing on the temples, as well as the bridge. I love all of that stuff. And not just that, the shape is actually interesting as well. The way that it's like kind of geometric, kind of rounded, kind of square, it's actually a pretty unique shape and that gets a lot of credit from me. These feel weighty, not overly heavy, but certainly weighty. They feel very premium on the face and I think they look very premium as well. A little bit more of a dressy style for sure, but one that you could wear every day. And you probably want to given the price of these, these are well over a thousand dollars. They also have a relatively wide fit, so you want to be a bigger guy if you're ordering these glasses. But if you've got the face for it, if you've got the personality for it, and above all, if you've got the wallet for it, the new Santos de Cartier full rim metal frames are extremely cool. We've got a slightly more, and I say slightly, that's a bit of an understatement, a very much more feminine style from LAI Works. This is the new Gibson, and like all LAI Works frames, it's handmade in Japan. Japan are known as the best region of eyewear manufacturing in the world, and I earlier this year described LAI Works as the best acetate frames on the planet. So they represent truly the best of the best. And what a perfect showcase of what LAI Works are about, given the supreme coloration that you see in the Gibson. And not just the coloration, which in and of itself makes these frames incredibly cool for a lady, but also the sharpness of the cat's eye style. Because there are a lot of cat's eye frames, it takes a lot of ingenuity to create a version of cat's eye that is different and this certainly is. Like all LAI Works frames, they're designed with a lot of love and a lot of character and that really shines through on these frames. So this is one of the coolest ladies glasses in 2024 and hence it makes the number eight spot. At number seven, and whilst those LAI Works frames are incredibly bold, these are pretty minimalistic. Reykjavik eyes are known for that. And whilst this frame came out at the very end of 2023, I'm pretty sure we've not showcased it on this channel so far, and I think it's only fair that it makes it into this list. These frames are laser cut from one piece of titanium and of all the glasses on this list, these are by far the most comfortable. Not only that, they're also by far the most durable. Because they're made from one piece of titanium, you don't have any weak points in these glasses. No screws, no solder joints, no springs. That means you can pretty much do what you like with these. You can sit on them, you could stand on them, you can fall asleep on them. 
I even had clients run over them in their car. And to me, the fact that they can withstand all that makes them cool. If you're someone who appreciates design above style, because I think design is a form of style, then Reykjavik Eyes should appeal to you probably above all other brands because in terms of design, what could be better? The purity of this concept, the one piece construction makes them for me instantly cool. But the Isaac is more cool than most frames within their collection because it has this slightly thicker cut of titanium that gives it more presence on the face and it makes it just that little bit more stylish. Staying with the metal concept, but a whole other philosophy is the Le Curie Lisa, an 18 karat yellow gold plated made in Japan titanium frame, all for only about five, $600, which if you know your eyewear, you will be amazed by because all of the frames made to that level of quality are significantly more expensive. You know, if you get a Cartier made in Japan gold-plated frame, you're talking double the price. So Lakuri are producing extremely good value, but incredibly good quality frames. And that is why I'm a big fan of the brand. I actually revealed them last year in a video where we discovered unknown eyewear brands and Lakuri probably fall in that category. I think we're the first stockist in Europe. The brand is North American, but as I mentioned, everything is handmade in Japan. And Leo, the designer, I think is coming at it from just the right angle. It comes across to me, at least, as someone who is passion over profits. You can tell that passion was put into these glasses because they're not just a simple silhouette. Yes, we've seen frames like this before from brands like Linda Faro, from Cartier, as I mentioned, from Chloe. It's not a new concept of an oversized, slightly feminine metal frame, but some of the finishing details are pretty unique. I love the fact that this is an all metal construction, something that I actually advised Leo on. We've got pure metal nose pads, we've got pure metal end tips. That makes these frames feel really premium and really luxury, but it's all about that super thick and rounded profile along the lens rim. That is a particularly nice touch that makes these frames stand out from the crowd. And yes, it might seem like a minor detail, but when worn, it actually really enhances the overall look of these glasses. They are a ladies style again, and I think they're well suited to a tint. This one has around about a 50% yellow or amber tint, but you could easily wear this with a lighter tint, a photochromic lens, so they go from light to dark because they would also look good as sunglasses as well. This is a very versatile style from Lakuri. The Lisa is an incredibly cool frame. And if you're a lady looking for glasses in 2024, I think this one should definitely be on your shortlist. Now, from unknown brands to world renowned brands, Gucci have actually made this list. And for those who know me, you'll be very shocked by that because I'm not one that really likes designer brands. And in fact, when it comes to eyewear, you should almost never invest in a designer brand because almost always the independent brands like I've featured so far are where the quality, the value and the innovation are at. But when a brand does it well, I will always give them credit. And Gucci have done this frame extremely well. This is up there in quality with any of the frames that I've featured today. And I don't say that lightly. We see seven barrel hinges on the inside, huge chunky hinges that make these frames incredibly robust. So the construction is good. We've also got high quality acetate, made in Japan. For a brand like Gucci, that is impressive. But what is most impressive about this frame is the styling. The fact that they've gone with this straight top rim, contrasting it to a more rounded bottom rim, I think these frames look very, very stylish. And can be worn by a man or a lady, but I think this probably leans more towards a masculine look. The smoky gray color as well, for me, is a highlight. I love the coloration of this frame. I think it softens it and stops it being too overpowering, too bold on the face. And the way that it pairs with the rose gold metal inlay is sumptuous as well. And that inlay itself represents an incredible artistry. You look at the details on it, it is a sight to behold. These frames, regardless of whether they say Gucci on them or not, are impressive. So well done to Gucci and credit where it's due. That's our introduction to the top five. What four frames could be better than that? Well, I might be slightly biased, but I'm going to include my new own personal glasses which are the Fuse 007 from Industrial. I've featured these in the last couple of videos and the amount of compliments, first of all, but also orders that we've received for these glasses has really proved why I love them so much. These combine a couple of different concepts. You see both the minimalism of brands like Reykjavik Eyes and the finishing of brands like Barton Pereira. And that combination, that almost juxtaposition of two different techniques 
makes these frames really unique and really special. And not only do they feel special to wear, but I think they look special to wear as well. And that's thanks to the filigree detailing that you see continuing from the temples through to the front, the super thin surgical steel profile, the classic aviator shape, which is always cool and I don't think will ever go out of fashion. And one of the best end tips I've ever seen on a pair of glasses. It might seem like a small detail, but it is something that makes you kind of appreciate them every time you wear them. This almost leaf-like flowing shape represents a level of craftsmanship that only a few workshops in the world can achieve. And Luca de Stael, who is my, probably my favorite eyewear designer, along with J.F. Ray, Luca de Stael is a master of frame manufacturing. His industrial series, represent more functional frames, but for the first time ever, these are both functional and really stylish. And that kind of combination of the two means that they are easily number four on my best 10 glasses of the year so far. And number three, J.F. Ray. How could they not make this list? No brand is as innovative and as creative as John Francois Ray's eyewear brand. He's now retired, he stepped away from the company, but his legacy lives on and his design philosophy continues. J.F. Ray produced frames unlike anybody else. And if you want glasses that are the most unique in the world, I would always say to go with J.F. Ray. This frame combines three different materials into one. We have both a metal outer lens rim, a 3D printed inner lens rim, and an acetate temple with this fabulous coloration. And if that weren't enough, the shape is just so quirky as well. It's kind of geometric, it's angular, it's cool, it's interesting above all else. And if you want people to stop you and ask you where you got your glasses from, what are they, can they try them on? <laughs> J.F. Ray is probably the brand for you. Obviously for a lot of people, these would be a little bit of a step too far. For me personally, it's not something I would wear, but it is absolutely something I can appreciate because very few glasses are as unique as this. To be fair, there were probably about four or five different styles from J.F. Ray that I could have featured on this list. This one caught my eye because the shaping, the construction of it and the coloration are all very interesting, very cool. And that is why it's number three on my list. At number two, a brand that I have previously given a 10 out of 10 for styling is Arlem. In terms of pure style, Arlem are probably top of the tree. In terms of the fact that they design frames or Arlem, I should say she designs frames because the brand is named after the founder herself. Arlem is designing frames that are probably the most stylish in the world, whether that's metal or acetate. In this video, I've picked out an acetate style, the Dragon, which is a release from their new collection this year. And there are a lot of details about this frame, which I love. First of all, you've got that super thick cut of acetate. This means that RLM frames are particularly good for high prescriptions in terms of that thickness of acetate will really work to disguise your lens thickness. The flatness of the cut of that thick acetate gives these frames a real eye-catching look. You've got the gold metal inlay, which is actually gold plated on the inside of the acetate, a step that they really didn't need to do, but shows the craftsmanship that inherently comes with these glasses. More shaping on the temples, shaping around the bridge, just every angle, every detail of these frames is excellent. These are handcrafted in France. The brand itself is from Paris. And I think that says it all really. The Dragon, super cool. But number one, my number one coolest frame of the year so far, and a brand new brand to this channel, is the new Masanaga and Kenzo. This is the K3 collection, Asta. Now, crystal frames have been a growing trend. So despite there being a plethora of crystal frames on the market right now, I can confidently say this is the best acetate crystal frame I have ever seen, ever. And that is thanks to well, I mean, there's so much to talk about with this frame, but the first thing you'll notice is the fact that there's actually a gold inlay inset within the acetate. That is incredibly hard to achieve. And that is the kind of quality that Masanaga are known for. For those who aren't familiar with Masanaga, theirs is a beautiful story. The brand was actually founded in, I believe, 1905 with the goal of making Japanese eyewear manufacturing the pinnacle of frame production. A hundred years ago, that seemed like a crazy idea. Japan was considered on par with China, but fast forward a hundred years and Masanaga have single-handedly turned that around. And now Japan is known to make by far the best frames in the world. You see, Masanaga not only set up their own brand, but they also started a guild of opticians where they were training craftsmen to produce the highest quality eyewear. That is the level of passion that Masanaga represent within our industry. Just like I mentioned with Lakuri before, it's passion before profits. It's even written into their business model that making a profit is good, but not essential. And they're prepared to not make a profit. They're prepared to make a loss if it results in the best quality. 
That says it all. And it's that kind of philosophy that's resulted in Masanaga making the coolest frames of 2024. These are actually the K3 collection, which is designed in collaboration with Kenzo Takada, the famous inventor of the fashion brand Kenzo. So he knows a thing or two about style. And these frames have a level of style above the regular Masanaga frames. We have pure titanium with gold plating. We've got filigree detail, not just on the temples, but also around the lens rim itself, even though that's really something that only you will ever see. That kind of craftsmanship is something that makes you fall in love with your own glasses and means that you're excited to wear them every time you put them on. And you will be because these frames are so comfortable to wear. Okay, not quite at the level of Reykjavik eyes, which for me is the barometer of eyewear comfort, but not far off. And they feel certainly more luxurious to wear than the Reykjavik eyes frames because you have that pure metal against the skin. Again, titanium nose pads. I really like how the crystal and the gold play off each other. I really like the rounded but geometric shape. There isn't a single detail about these frames that I don't think is 10 out of 10. I just think they're that excellent. And that is why they are my number one on this list. We're gonna be showcasing Masanaga, the entire collection, in an upcoming video, so make sure you subscribe for that. But I think that just about rounds up this video. And what do you think of my selections? Do you agree with them? Is there a frame that I missed that you think should be on this list? Let me know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe for more of the best eyewear content on the internet. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.